everybody, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod for Monday, March 28th. And this is Garage with Cow Barn by Michael LS, 17.7 megabyte, 17.75 megabytes to download. And get this, 53 slots on console. I'm glad I checked that. Um, yes, Sue. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, the price listed on the Mod Hub is 15000 That is incorrect. Uh, you will find it under Animals and Cows. And here it is, Cow Barn. It's listed here for $150,000. You can place it anywhere you like, like so. So it'll hold 50 cows. Yes, $150,000, $150 per day upkeep. Now, <clears throat> there's a few quirky things uh, with this. We shall look, we'll have a walk around first. Uh, here's the milk. Uh, we're going to try that with the, uh, this, is, uh, this is where you input your straw and TMR or grass or hay. Uh, well, let's look at this. So, hay, grass, or TMR, 50,000 liters. It will contain maximum amount. Uh, slurry, as you can see, 150,000. Straw, 35,000. Milk, 37,500. Right. So, now that we got those amounts, um, <clears throat> I will talk about this area in a moment. Um, so it comes with a shed. It's how it comes with this. So the cow barn, uh, a lean-to, I guess you could call it, a covered area. It's got a bunch of decoration. That's probably why the 53 slots. Uh, there's a lot of decoration. You can pick that up. I don't think that's a... It looks just like the... No, it's not. It's not the workbench. <laughs> Or the work uh, repair. It comes with this garage. So the doors open and close. As you can see here. It's not a very large garage. As you can see. I have this tractor with this. Uh, the smaller rolling trailer in here. Um, it shows crop in here. But it would be. You would need much smaller trailer. And definitely not one that tips up. Because. Uh, if I try to tip up and pour this, uh, dump this grain, um, oh, maybe you could. There's no collision on that. There's collision on the roof, though. Yeah, doesn't like that. Um, so it comes with this area here. So this is the slurry pit of which uh, it says it is full. The slurry, 150,000 liters, says that's the amount. We'll go for a little walkabout here. <clears throat> now, this is uh, a manure area, but it is, does not appear here. Uh, in order to remove the manure, manure out of the cow barn, it does not appear in the cow barn either. Uh, it, it loads here. Now, it took me a minute to figure this out, because if you just go here with the bucket, it says you need a bucket to go. Nothing, nothing shows up here. It's not, it's like, okay, it's not happening, and nothing's happening. You have to lower it, like so. See where it's, uh, now it says start filling. So how far away can you, oh... So as long as your bucket's kind of low like that, right there, it'll automatically fill your bucket. See that? And that's where now you can say, okay, we're gonna. We're, basically, you're. It's like you're cleaning out the cow barn. Uh, well, the easy way. It doesn't appear there, but it's there. However, the troublesome part about that is. If you go to your information here, it doesn't tell you how much manure you have in there. 
until you've taken it all out. So there's no indication of any kind of manure or how much you have until you basically start taking it out. And so apparently it was full because I placed this extension does not come. This is a manure heap extension. It does not come with it. I placed this here afterwards and nothing appeared in here for a long time until just recently we have some. So this is the overflow from how much ever, I don't know how much it holds. I have no idea how much it holds because there's nothing to tell me how much it holds unless I removed it all and measured how much I took out and I'm not going to do that. So, uh, 50 cows. Here's the slurry. We're going to show you the slurry and the uh, milk point. I do want to show you not that. Uh, this. So, uh, the roof is very low. The area dumping in is very small. Uh, no duels. You can't have anything with duels. This thing barely fits, as you can see. You got to get it just right in there. Uh, you're not going to get a, a tip. There's collisions. You're not going to get a tip trailer in here. You're going to need a a rear a rear dump uh, this one works fine there's a tiny little bit of collision when that back uh, door opens up but it's it works fine so this works in here fine like that uh, you just it's very tight uh, definitely meant for small small tractors small farms um, all right, I'll be back with a tank. Alrighty then. So I had to skip ahead a day uh, just so they would eat some stuff and use up some straw because we're going to test bales because I always forget bales. <laughs> <clears throat> but first, uh, this is the milk trigger here. As you can see, my start filling trigger has turned up and there it is. Fills quite quickly. Very nice. Uh, here is the slurry pit trigger. Um, the trigger came up right away and it too filled up quite quickly. Very nice. That's only an 8,000 liter, but it only holds 150. Well, only? Only holds? <laughs> so, alright. Will it take bales? Well, I have a straw bale and a hay bale. Uh, because there is no TMR bales and it won't take, uh, well, I guess it would take grass, grass hay, but I mean, if it takes a, a straw bale and a hay bale, it'll take a grass bale. So, put that down. Come on. Aha! Alright, so there you go. If you enjoy using bales and you want to use bales for this cow barn it definitely takes a hay bale let's see if it takes a straw bale ooh okay hmm that's odd let's uh let's get a grass bale cuz now I'm curious. It won't take straw bales, but it took a hay bale. And it definitely is not, f the straw is not full. Um, we're going to try this grass bale. And then we're going to try sticking the, uh, whoa. Too violent there. There we go. We're going to uh, see if it takes the grass bale. And then uh, we're going to try putting a straw bale into the... Uh, uh, the other air. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, it definitely takes the grass. So it takes grass and hay bales. But not straw bales there. But... Perhaps in here. 
perhaps. Mm, no. Okay. So, if you want to, uh, if you want to use straw bales, you'll have to use a uh, bale shredder. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, I think that's about it. So, this is... And that was, or is, this is, <laughs> The Grads with Cow Barn by Michael L.S. 17.75 megabytes on console, or, well, to download, and 53 uh, slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. Till next time. Bye for now.